Thank you for watching. This is not going to be one of my regular videos. I'm not going to paint anything. I'm not going to build anything. As you can see, the, the car sitting in front of me is already painted. I'm going to explain you a few things about the body that's on there. A few people may and a few people may not know uh, because I, I've, I think I've never actually promoted my company uh, in any of the videos. I actually, I produce some parts for large scale RC cars. Some people will go like, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to click something else because it's going to be shameless self-promotion. That's not how it is intended. I just want to showcase uh, this new body to you guys. And I also want to uh, give you a tiny bit of a background information about me, about uh, how far my passion for RC goes. Uh, and how uh, involved I actually think that I am uh, in the hobby. Anyway, um, after being, uh, being out of the hobby for a few years, I uh, started to get back into it in uh, 2007 uh, by purchasing one of these cars, uh, an HPI Baja. Mine was an, uh, an SS, that was the, the orange one, uh, the buggy version, uh, just like this one. And I really wanted to do something uh, cool for it just because uh, it is one of my all-time favorite RCs and it has become such a, a legendary car, uh, such an icon for the whole industry, uh, a benchmark for others to follow. Uh, we're all still waiting for something that can be uh, a true successor that will, that will live up and uh, become as big a hype as uh, the HPR Baja was and is. Still haven't found it, so I think uh, I think we can carry on with the HPI Baja, maybe even in the 5B version for another few years. So I wanted to do, to make something different, something cool. Uh, one of the biggest flaws, I think, in the design of the of the Baja 5B, apart from uh, a few uh, technical uh, thingies uh, left and right, uh, was the body. The body that uh, that you get on the car, up on uh, lane right, right here, uh, had a few really. Uh, well, poorly designed uh, features to it, which is of course uh, after years of use that yet that you find out, oh, you know, it could be improved there, it could be improved there. Uh, and when you talk about uh, about stuff like that, but people go, like, oh, you know, maybe you should make your own body. Ta da! Did it. Let me uh, take you through uh, some of the things that that I found annoying with uh, the stock body. Uh, first thing was this uh, tiny bathtub. Uh, it's around uh, the fuel cap on this side of the car. Turn the car around so you know what I'm talking about. And then you can also see how uh, how I solved it. Um, this tiny uh, yeah flat spot. It collects fuel. Fuel and Lexan do not combine all that well. Uh, in fact, they do not combine at all. It makes the Lexan brittle and uh, therefore all of the HPI Baja 5B bodies that are currently out on the market uh, that have uh, a sort of like a similar layout, you will see them crack right at this point after uh, a few spillages. Uh, on this one it's no different. This body is approximately uh, 5 liters of fuel old. Uh, if even that, it's been it's been really taken good care of. Uh, in addition to all that, and still you can uh, you can tell that it uh, it really kind of had it already. So that's something that I wanted to eliminate. Another thing that uh, that I did not like about the stock configuration were these uh, side plots. The side plots uh, on the stock body they are uh, they're sharp, uh, they're open, so they allow for a whole lot of uh, debris, sand, uh, and other crap to uh, to enter the body. Uh, specifically this uh, under section over here, uh, possibly damaging your flywheel, uh, jamming up your pull starter, uh, getting into your clutch system, uh, well, you, you, you name it. Dirt and engines is never a good idea, so I needed to eliminate that as well. Uh, a final thing that uh, was not really to my taste, was this aluminium roof. I always, on every paint job that I finished, I had the idea that something was missing uh, with that aluminium roof piece. It didn't give uh, a whole lot of room to experiment with uh, something that would change the entire look and make it look like a complete car. This may just be taste, but uh, well, you get a, a new uh, roof in, uh, in this kit as well. Let me start off with the name. Why is it called the Hemistorm Addict? This uh, car is called the Hemistorm Addict, first of all, of course, because I am uh, addicted to RC. Uh, second of all, because my favorite large scale forum uh, is called Baja Addicts. Uh, that's also the name you can see on the other uh, side of the car. You will see a close up of that, don't worry. Uh, I've been around a lot of forums, some of them uh, I have really positive experiences with. 
uh, others of them uh, I have no positive uh, experience with whatsoever. People who know me a bit closer will know exactly what I'm talking about. Baja Addicts uh, for my large scale needs has always been my home forum. Uh, and it's not, it's not so much an, an RC community, uh, at least I think, as it is a brotherhood. I got some really good online friends uh, over on Baja Addicts, uh, friends that I really, really like. Uh, I would do uh, basically everything for them and anything. Uh, so that's why this car is called The Addict. It's a, it's a fitting name, I think, for, uh, for this project. Enough of the sentimental uh, mambo jambo. Uh, the side parts, the openers, uh, well, got rid of that. Um, in the past, there have been a few companies that have released uh, under trays for, uh, for the, the B bodies. Uh, none of them have proven to be uh, super successful. In the sand setup, they did work. In the grass setup, they did work as well. But as soon as you entered uh, some, some rockier surface, uh, you had an instant problem. Uh, I've been through a few, a few uh, of those uh, Rhino under trays. I know there's been a few others on the market uh, that fully closed off the, the chassis. The idea of them was really good, uh, but it, well, it turned out when you used them that it didn't hold up that long. So that's why I did not want to go for an under tray. I did, however, want to go for something that uh, closed up the body. I also wanted to go for something that was easy to install. So what I came up with is uh, you use the stock skid plate, uh, which you see over here with uh, all the mounting points over there. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, you know the drill. Maybe you don't. Uh, then uh, go have a look at uh, a stock bar and uh, see how it hooks up. And then in addition, I have this uh, piece over here which uh, uh, closes off a large part of the chassis and it is very easy to install. Uh, it hooks up to the, to the front of the roll cage. Uh, those of you that are familiar uh, with the HPI Bajas know that if you pull the two uh, pins out from the roll cage, there's two uh, thin plastic rings uh, sitting there holding it in place, making sure there is no slop. You take those rings away, uh, you push the, the, the Hemistorm Addict uh, side parts uh, over those two pins, put the body clips back in, and you're good to go. Another thing that you uh, want to consider with this uh, body, if I turn it like this, you will see that it is, uh, it's a lot wider than uh, a stock Baja 5B body or anything else that's uh, out there on the market. So the, the two center uh, body pins that, uh, that come out of the roll cage, uh, they're basically uh, a pin with a sleeve over it. You want to push those sleeves out as far as you can. So there's a body clip in there securing it uh, to the center uh, roll cage, take the pins out, slide them all the way outwards uh, and then uh, secure those sleeves again so you have uh, the most outward mounting point possible. I know this is a really long sentence, uh, you can all read it in the description box because I will make sure that this is clear uh, before uh, you start installing this body. For your convenience, the entire show comes uh, pre-cut by the way. Uh, apart from the vents, that's something that's really up to you if you want to uh, cut them uh, or not and uh, more importantly, uh, the opening for the gas cap. The stock shell has that uh, sort of like that uh, tub thing going on. I chose not to go for any molded in stuff over here for uh, two reasons. Uh, a, everybody has a different uh, preference when it comes to cutting the opening of their uh, gas cap. Uh, I chose to cut it quite uh, little. Other people choose to cut, to, cut, to cut it bigger so it's easier to remove the lid. And then there's, of course, uh, the people that own an HPI Baja Flux, which, which doesn't have a gas cap, it doesn't have a gas tank, and they want to have a car that looks uh, smooth on both sides. Well, uh, with this shell, you finally can. You have a shell that doesn't look asymmetrical, and you have something uh, that looks like it belongs on your car. There is a tiny uh, crease, a tiny dimple, an indication uh, to show you where you need to cut. Because I, well, I trust that most people uh, who are going to run this shell have a gas Baja rather than a, an electric one. The last thing I need to mention on the side pass is that there is a stepped line going on. So you do not have to be afraid that uh, it sits really low with it being a tiny bit wider or you will have any problems uh, with the body uh, instantly uh, bottoming out, uh, scraping the surface that you're driving on. Uh, upon jumping it because that just won't happen. It's a, it's a fairly large uh, step that's going on. It also makes the car look a tiny bit uh, leaner and uh, meaner. So uh, that's what I did over there.
the main body um, to mount that, yeah, it really is not rocket science. Uh, again, with it being pre cut, it's as uh, simple as can be. I will turn it around so you can have a look uh, at the other side uh, at the same time. The only thing that is really different is I know that uh, with the stock body you were able to sort of fold it around uh, the headlights. Now there's two reasons you cannot do that with uh, the addict. Uh, first of all is the headlights, they are more or less molded in the shell. So uh, they're actually they're, they're turned into a design feature rather than uh, something that looked like it was uh, an afterthought. And uh, the second reason is the stock body is a lot thinner than, uh, than the Addict. Uh, so this is something that you could, well, almost taking out the lamp here, this is something that you could indeed flex around those uh, headlights. But with the Addict you cannot. Well, uh, mounting it, super simple. You just take out uh, the pins from those uh, headlights, uh, take them off, uh, put them on, bam, done. The attic has a lot more room, especially in the in the front, to run some extra electronics uh, or to run uh, a custom linkage uh, setup, whatever you prefer. Uh, it's something that I thought was important, uh, especially to change the looks. In the back over here, there's also uh, well more than enough room to uh, run your uh, clutch uh, setups, your turbo plates. Uh, your upgraded brakes, stuff like that. I'm not sure about uh, two-speed gearboxes, if uh, stuff needs to be trimmed or not. Uh, I try to uh, I try to be as considerate as I could when uh, developing this shell, uh, make room for all of the aftermarket parts, uh, but of course you can't keep up with absolutely everything. So I'm pretty sure that uh, there will be a few side pipes uh, that won't be direct fit, where you need to do a tiny bit of extra body trimming. Uh, or if you have like a three, four, five, six speed transmission that is built out all the way to there. Yeah, sorry, you know, couldn't, uh, couldn't really account for that either. So yeah, it might be that there's a tiny bit of a uh, trimming work involved or maybe you need to ream a hole or whatnot. But uh, as far as I can, uh, as far as I can see, I've made it as easy as possible for you. Shells, of course, they come uh, unpainted, they come uh, pre-cut and uh, that will be available from uh, starting next week uh, at all of the usual suspects. Uh, my distributor in uh, the UK is uh, Jason at uh, Abbott's RC. Uh, all of these distributors, by the way, carry my uh, full range of products. Uh, so if, you want, if you're in England, uh, you want something, hit up Jason, Abbott's RC. Uh, if you're in uh, Europe mainland, uh, my distributor is uh, Andre from uh, Bahaland.de. The links to all of these uh, websites and also to uh, a page where you can order uh, maybe you want to have a, a hemistorm attic body uh, in the description box. Uh, in the United States, of course, uh, DDM, Dave's Motors, and uh, TGN Distributing. I think that uh, sort of covers it. I'm sorry if this was a really long, boring video. Uh, uh, I tried to make it as interesting as I could. It's a lot of uh, facts, it's a lot of uh, uh, technical uh, thingies. But again, this is a novelty. This is something that I've been working on for a year. This is something that I'm so, I'm so proud that it's done. I'm so happy that it's done as well. Uh, I'm so glad that I can finally show it to you. Uh, it's, it's, I think, rather unique that I can show it to you on my own uh, YouTube channel. With that, you will also get the promise that I won't be doing any more self-promoting in, uh, in the next six months, at least. Well, I hope that sort of uh, explains uh, everything that you wanted to know about uh, the Hemistorm Addict, uh, the new HBI Baja 5B body. If you want to be a tiny bit ahead of what's going on over here on YouTube, do not forget to uh, check out my Facebook page. There's a link in the description box. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the thumb up. Uh, and if you want to see what I'm uh, up to this winter, because the entire winter will be filled with building projects, painting projects, uh, customization, 10 scale, 5th scale, 6th scale, uh, everything you can think of, uh, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care. Have fun. Bye-bye. Uh,